Okay, up next, a stewardship award. This is an award we take very seriously and that we're always happy to give out. Uh, this year, uh, we are celebrating three of the most notable buildings in Athens, Georgia, and the stewardship it took to keep them as a key part of our community. So we're happy to celebrate Daily Groceries, the Grit and Go Bar for stewardship. The Daily Groceries, uh, a lot of you may just call it the Daily or Daily, uh, the Grit and Go Bar have been icons in the Prince Avenue community closest to downtown Athens for decades. This is what owner Michael Stipe, and yes, that is that Michael Stipe of REM, uh, wanted for the buildings. He purchased the buildings in the early 1990s so that Athens could have functioning historic buildings for generations. Uh, I should note, by the way, that in addition to Michael Stipe and REM's efforts there, uh, the REM family, uh, the, the, the Burtis Downs and everyone involved in REM has really been a decisive force in historic preservation throughout Athens. Their support has been continued. Um, and I know that when I took over this job two years ago, it was a real thrill to find so many artifacts in our office documenting the way that REM has helped protect the historic resources of this community. In this case, though, specifically, we're cel celebrating these three properties. Uh, according to the maintenance supervisor, Stipe keeps a close eye on the buildings to assure that they never fall in disrepair, yet continue to hold, hold the old charm of the area. The Daly and the Grit buildings were built in 1900. The Gobar building was built in 1930. So the recipient of this award is Michael Stipe. And as a fun fact, Daily Groceries was first located in the building currently occupying the Grit. So to get our program started today, um, I wanted to talk about the Stewardship Award. This year, the Stewardship Award uh, went to uh, Michael Stipe, a name that I know is familiar to all of you. We want to thank Michael for uh, his efforts in the preservation of three distinctive and uh, iconic buildings on our Prince Avenue area. Daily Groceries, The Grit, and The Go Bar. Hopefully these are all places that are familiar to you. I know they are, are very much familiar to me and, and so happy to be able to uh, frequent those places. But I wanted to uh, talk about a little bit about what Michael has done. Uh, back in the 90s, he purchased these buildings with the idea that he wanted to preserve them and make sure that they were here for generations to come. And, uh, and I think that it's proven successful that uh, now these three buildings house successful businesses. And it wouldn't have been without, uh, this, this couldn't have occurred without uh, having somebody like Michael who was interested in that preservation to take these, to take these buildings on. So obviously there was work to be done to preserve them and then able to turn them over to tenants. So thank you, Michael. We really appreciate that. You know, one of the things that I wanted to bring up about um, Michael is that uh, my path crossed his in about 30 years ago when we were working together with a group of concerned citizens for the fire hall where the classic center, convention center and theater are per currently located. The original architect wanted to just level the whole site and start all, all over with a new building. And when those plans were being developed, uh, several of us got together and said, wait a minute, we need to, we need to preserve that fire hall. And uh, I believe we met in um, Burtis Downs house and got together and talked about what, what kind of plan could we come up with. And Michael and his other band members uh, of REM and Burtis, uh, came together and actually funded hiring a, another architect to come in and show what could be the possibilities of preserving the fire hall and keeping it as a centerpiece. And as you all know, uh, the result was that we were able to save the fire hall and it is a centerpiece. And I can't even imagine that uh, that not being there. So uh, a little anecdotal story about Michael Stipe and, and his longtime preservation uh, concerns and uh, for Athens. So we again want to thank him and it's a well-deserved award for stewardship. 